hello there. Nice to see you all again. Today I'm going to be reading one of the stories by one of my favorite authors, Eric Carle. And this story is called The Grouchy Ladybug. Something special about this book is that Eric Carle writes the book and draws the picture, which means that he's both the author and the illustrator. So let's see what this story is about. It was night and some fireflies danced around the moon. At five o'clock in the morning, the sun came up. A friendly ladybug flew in from the left. It saw a leaf with many aphids on it. The aphids are the little tiny bugs all over the leaf, as you can see all of them. And decided to have them for breakfast. But just then, a grouchy ladybug flew in from the right. It too saw the aphids and wanted them for breakfast. They wanted the same breakfast. Good morning, said the friendly ladybug. Go away, shouted the grouchy ladybug. I want those aphids. We can share them, suggested the friendly ladybug. No, they're mine, all mine, screamed the grouchy ladybug. Or do you want to fight me for them? If you insist, answered the friendly ladybug. It looked the other bug straight in the eye. The grouchy ladybug stepped back. It looked less sure of itself. Oh, you're not big enough for me to fight, it said. Then why don't you pick on somebody bigger? I'll do that, screeched the grouchy ladybug. I'll show you. It puffed itself up and flew away. At six o'clock, it met a yellow jacket. Here's our yellow jacket. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the yellow jacket, showing its stinger. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug. And the ladybug flew off. There's our wasp. At seven o'clock, it met a stag beetle. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the stag beetle, opening its jaws. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At eight o'clock, it came across a praying mantis. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the praying mantis, reaching out with its long front legs. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At nine o'clock, it almost flew into a sparrow. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. You want to fight? If you insist, said the sparrow, opening its sharp beak. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At ten o'clock, it saw a lobster. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the lobster, stretching its claws. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. The animals are getting bigger and bigger. At 11 o'clock, it bumped into a skunk. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the skunk, starting to lift its tail. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At 12 noon, it spotted a boa constrictor, which is this big snake. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the snake, right after lunch. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At 2 o'clock, it met a gorilla. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the gorilla. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At three o'clock, it ran into a rhinoceros. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the rhinoceros, lowering its big horn. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At four o'clock, it encountered an elephant. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the elephant, raising his trunk and showing his big tusks. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At five o'clock, it met a whale. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? But the whale did not answer at all. You're not big enough anyway, said the grouchy ladybug and flew off. At 5.15, the grouchy ladybug said to one of the whale's flippers, hey, you want to fight? But it got no answer, so it flew on. Do you think the whale can hear the grouchy ladybug? Or do you think the whale is choosing not to answer? 
I'm not sure. Let's see. At 5.30, the grouchy ladybug said to the whale spin, Hey you, do you want to fight? But it got no answer, so it flew on. At quarter to six, the grouchy ladybug said to the whale's tail, Hey you, want to fight? And the whale's tail gave the grouchy ladybug such a slap that it flew across the sea and across the land. At six o'clock, the grouchy ladybug arrived back where it had started from. Ah, here you are again, said the friendly ladybug. You must be hungry. There's still some aphids left, which are those little bugs on the leaf. You can have them for dinner. Oh, thank you, said the wet, tired, and hungry ladybug. Soon all the aphids were gone. Thank you, said the leaf. You are welcome, answered both ladybugs, and they went to sleep. The fireflies, who had been sleeping all day, came out to dance around the moon. And it seems like the grouchy ladybug was not so grouchy after the story. Thanks for reading the story with me. I hope to read to you again soon. Have a great day, guys.